Hello and welcome to Horrible Horror, where I put my life on the line for your entertainment. Now I know today I was supposed to review the Danish horror movie Cat, but unfortunately the copy I own just wouldn't work on my computer and even when I did get it to work, the subtitles wouldn't work so you really wouldn't have gotten much enjoyment out of it. I know it sucks when I promise something and can't deliver, but I figure instead we're just gonna dig deep into a treasure trove of what the fuck is this that has as of yet remained untouched on this show. That treasure trove is Troma Films. For those of you who don't know, Troma is an independent production and distribution company that was founded in 1974 by Lloyd Kaufman and Michael Hurst. Their movies are notorious for being absolutely insane splatter horror exploitation flicks, and the general opinion is that they're either horrible or so bad they're good. Lloyd Kaufman himself has made quite a few very entertaining films that have become cult classics, such as the Toxic Avenger series and Sgt. Kabuki Man. If a movie has a very high amount of tits, gore and cartoony humor, there's a very good chance you're looking at a trauma film. Now don't get me wrong here, I love trauma films. There is so much entertainment to be found when movies are as batshit insane as this. In fact, I even own Lloyd Kaufman's book Direct Your Own Damn Movie, which is a very, very fun read and I highly recommend it. And if it wasn't for trauma, a lot of big names would have never really gotten their start. Peter Jackson, for instance, would never have made bad taste if he hadn't been inspired by Troma, and Trey Parker's first film, Cannibal the Musical, was distributed by Troma and was what got him noticed in the first place. And this is a very, very funny movie, people. So, I figured let's take a look at Troma. I found a title from their archives that is so full of promise, I almost can't wait to watch it. I welcome you to Chopper Chicks in Zombie Town! Underclass! So as we begin, we see our titular Chopper Chicks, aptly named the Cycle Sluts, cruise around to some gloriously 80s rock music as they stop by a town called Saraya to get a bite to eat. Women? In my gay bar? I don't think so. We then cut to a young boy investigating some strange noises coming from a nearby mine shaft, which is strangely well guard. Oh, okay, scratch that. Never mind. Daddy? Daddy, is that you? I mean, it's not probably closed, it's not locked, and yet someone being banged against it from the inside doesn't do dick? Are you tired of your victims always escaping? Then try our new plot convenient movie doors, the Chinese finger trap of entrances. Only $99.95. So, since the door is not there anymore, a bunch of very well dressed zombies march out of there just in time to meet, and I am not kidding, a bus full of blind orphans that stop there. Come on, we're dying out here. Yeah, do you want us to do it? Oh, shut up, Lance. We've got better things to do. Than take care of a bunch of bump-reading bastards? You said it, not me. God, if we're such a burden, why don't you just move on to your next well-intentioned cause? Good idea. We'll pack right after your parents pick you up. such a thing! Oh my god, that's terrible! What's next? Are you gonna walk up to a paraplegic and say, I'd offer you my services, but they cost an arm and a leg? Jesus Christ, what an asshole! Just to tease the audience, they manage to repair the bus and get away before the zombies reach them. The zombies just march on as we return to one of our chopper chicks out on her own as she crashes into the resident mortician who for some reason takes her home and injects her with some serum and starts draining her blood. And then his dwarf assistant enters the scene. Okay, can any of you guys keep up with this because I'm already confused as hell. Is it really too much for me to ask each scene to be more than 20 seconds long and be goddamn relevant to what's going on? 
Anyway, for some reason, the mortician decides to punish this guy by putting him in a casket for a while. Into the dark. This is what you want. Oh. This is what you want. Now you just count yourself lucky I'm not a werewolf, right? Howl your eyes out, steer best eye. So it turns out that the mortician is deliberately killing people and resurrecting them as zombies to use as labor in the mine we saw earlier. And just because he hadn't been evil enough to his assistant, we get this fine little moment. Now what's the Bob model? If God had wanted me to do normal stuff... I cannot hear you. If God had wanted me to do normal stuff, he would have made me look like normal people. Like what? Normal people. Good lord! Is there anyone in this movie that has any compassion for anyone whatsoever? What, did they make a list of handicaps you have to have made fun of before the movie is over or something? What an asshole! So we return to the cycle slots that this movie is supposed to be about anyway as they split up for a bit and we get some brief character moments that amount to absolutely nothing. Such as calling a daughter or meeting an old boyfriend again or uh... fucking everything in sight. All while this is going on, their leader crashes a funeral that for some reason takes place in a bar and starts singing rock and roll. Badly, I might add. Get out of my way! Get out of my face! All I wanna do is rock this place! Better do what your big mama told you! Do what your big mama told you! What does this have to do with anything, you ask? Nothing at all, but we do get to know why they call themselves sluts. So how come you guys call yourselves sluts? Well... Rock says that's what they're gonna call us anyway, so we might as well beat him to the punch. <laughs> oh, I see. So that's why black people can call each other n- Whoa! Okay! Sorry! So after what we can only assume is a lot of sex all over the town, which, you know, trauma films usually actually show to the delight of many a perverted viewer, the Psycho Sludge start meeting up once again. I certainly hope you girls have all this out of your systems for a while, at least. Maybe. <laughs> Seen Dee and Lucille? I bet Lucille got herself some real good coitus. She got herself some real good what now? Coitus. Coitus? Coitus? Oh, coitus. 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 Can we please just stop saying coitus? Oh, okay, okay sorry, Leonard. Um, uh, let's move on. We return to the bar where a man is harassing a couple of the psycho slots, prompting their leader to start a bar fight. But the fight doesn't last very long as another very angry man with a shotgun arrives to break it up. Dead man. Dead man's store. Dead man's truck. Dead man's wife. What kind of trash are you? Can't you see we're in fucking mourning here? And you. You had sex. <gasps> Reasonably attractive women in their prime having sex? Oh my goodness, how disturbing! You think you're some kind of rebels, but you just whores! <coughs> that is just offensive! We're sluts! So a lot of them are chased out of town, discussing whether or not they should go back and kick their asses. They leave the one married woman behind, though, to quarrel with her former husband for a while, but she quickly leaves to try and catch up with the others. On her way, she comes across the blood-covered bike of a disappeared member of their group and goes to investigate. What, you're not gonna make a joke about the blood? Like, I don't know, it's probably just her period or something? She's joined by her husband and they find a bunch of not-quite-dead corpses and the mortician. <laughs> She's quickly captured and locked up along with her dead husband because, you know, killing her too would be too smart a thing to do and we soon learn the motivations behind the mortician's evil deeds. Say, so you know Fred, someday they'll say he went too far. Yeah. I've been mad. By the pursuit of knowledge. Immortality. Me, they'll say that about me, not you. But I'll tell you a secret. I didn't do it for science. I didn't do it for glory. I'm just me! Wait, 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 wait. So you're killing people 
resurrecting them as zombies and putting them in a mine for labor just for the fuck of it? He's a very bad man. He's a very, very bad man.